we're trying to do is a strength program, and this is it. Dr. Pain to Win Dumbbell Program right here. Stay with me. We're getting fired up. Train Ray with Dr. Payne. Work on your championship focus and motivation. We're working on your swimmer strengths. Strength, the ability to go longer and taper better. Here it is, the program that is gonna take your team to the championships. It's kind of a secret program because it's quick. You can get your kids in and out and get them moving quickly, daily, and working together with two people all the way up to maybe 50 with small amounts of equipment. All right, muscular endurance. We need it, okay? Okay, so all you're going to need is dumbbells. And so it's an easy amount of equipment that you're going to utilize. And each person on this first exercise, there'll be, two, there'll be four to five exercises in each set. So there'll be a set of five exercises and another set of four exercises, which you can do one group doing one exercise and the other group doing the other exercises of sets and switch. Very easy to manipulate and put into your program. The first exercise, you need one dumbbell. Holding the dumbbells right here and keeping your arms completely tight. So as you're walking, you're going to, the front step goes forward and you walk with the dumbbell. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna go backwards walking. The dumbbell moves with the back step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna do ten steps. So forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going back again. With the back leg, it goes steps back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. There's your first exercise. One person doing it, the other person resting, and they switch. Okay, the next exercise is very similar. Holding the dumbbell, again, straight arms. And this time it's called the chop. You're gonna go down like in a figure eight, chopping down, chopping down. Working on this core. Everything is working on the core here. Two, three, and you're gonna move with the steps again. Uh, um, as, you, as you step towards it, one, two, each step. So we're gonna get going with you here, same way we did before, 10 steps. So you're going with the step that's going forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then of course 10. And we're going backwards again with the backward step. One, two, three, four, keep it straight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we go forward and back, and the other student has the other dumbbell, or you can alternate. There it is, our second exercise in the first set of our dumbbell exercises. We have two sets of four exercises. This is the second one, the chop. Bring it at an angle, really working on feeling the length of the shoulders, building the flexibility, building your core, of course. Beautiful exercise, number one. This is not our second exercise. All right, so this is the last exercise on our first set of dumbbell uh, groupings. And uh, we'll get right into it here. Same exercise, you're holding the dumbbell, only you're holding it over your head. You're holding it over your head. And when you're walking the same way as the step forward goes forward, you're going here. Now this is always built, this is building length, body strength and length, like swimmers, because swimmers are going off the wall, they're pushing off their backs, their stomachs. We're going forward, we're going forward, back, forward, back, 
forward and keeping it tight. We want to keep it tight in here, keeping that endurance, holding it up, and you'll work out whatever weight it is. So I'm going to show you how we're doing this. We're doing 10 again. This exercise, you can feel it in your entire body all the way down. This is what's great about it. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Of course, going back to the back leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There you go. So always when you're starting weight work, always make sure you check with the doctor, making sure that you're physically fit before you do that, but of course swim teams are doing that. USA clubs, high school teams, and college teams. Make sure you're ready for this because these workouts will work you out in a championship performance shape. They're, they seem simple, but after you get them implemented into your program, these just simple barbell sets will do wonders for your in-water performance coming off the walls, feeling of getting your body rotating, and because it's working on you at the length. Swimmers always want to work at length here, working on that, and these small leg weights will do that for you. We gave you our first three dumbbell exercises where you only need one dumbbell, right? And our next set will be different fashion, but we'll still be using the dumbbells. And there's four exercises. So we, I usually have one group doing this set right here, and then one group doing the other set of pairs so that they can go back and forth and or you can line them up and have them go in, have them go out. I did this with an academy that I worked at. I had six kids going across, doing it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and they had fun. They were socializing and they were getting strong. And you know what? You can even just do it on the deck. So it doesn't take any space. It hardly takes any equipment. And this is the Dr. Payne to win dumbbell championship dumbbell sets. Here it is. So take those exercises and run, 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 or I should say swim, swim, swim. Now these sets are going to take two dumbbells and you'll have a partner and they will do six repetitions for starting. And you can do this with your high level groups all the way down to your low level groups with light weights or no weights. But anyways, these are going to work together. We're going to do sets of six, right? Starting with the loops, right here. Coming down, six, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're gonna rotate up and go one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Then we're gonna do lunges, one, two, three, all the way down, I'm not, I can't do it too good. Four, five, and six. You'd probably do double that, right? And then we're gonna do leaning rows here, way down like you're in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're gonna put one hand on the knee and go back. One, two, turning it, three, Four for the final of your stroke. Five, six, and then the other side, hand on the knee. One, two, turning it. Three, four, five, six. So to go quickly on that, what we're doing here, obviously we're starting with standing rows here. One, and squats. Two, three, four, five, six. Right? Then we're going over the head. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got it? Lunges. Right here, lunge it six times. Like that. 
keeping the weights balanced. Then we're going leaning rows, rows, like because you're driving your head forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then we're going here. One, two, three, four, keeping it locked out. Five, six, going to the other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then we're just gonna hold a good 10 second hold. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna reduce it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And we're there. You got it. There's your dumbbell workout for each student. Between each exercise, you switch off. To, between each exercise, your partner goes, and you don't are not using much equipment. You can get it done quickly. You can do it in the hall, you can do it in the weight room close by, you can do it on the deck if it's safe. Make sure you're checking with a doctor, making sure everything is good, your health, your muscles, your health, your wealth, and you will get some wealth out of this, some championship focus and motivation here. Hey, it's a great way to get your entire team active and learning weightlifting, but this is great all the way up to your highest level teams. This is Dr. Payne. Hoping this brings a value to your swimming program, to your water polo program, to your diving program. It's helping with your core. It's helping with your entire body. Understand how to get off those walls long, stay lean, and stay in, focused and tight. These workouts are kind of secret. You can use it for your high level team, your low level team, I'd like to thank the Munster Swim Club, Joe Wolf and Matt Lee for helping out with these, for teaching this stuff to me, and being champions. So championship, focus, and motivation, but most of all, have some fun out there. This is Dr. Payne to win. Send me an email, send me your videos. I'll come motivate your team. I'll come motivate you. Coaches, parents, swimmers, athletes come see me hey like to thank united states swimming united states diving and united states water polo for coming to our site and oliver leroy oliver leroy who with his great blog we're always listening to you sir hey get your swim book from oliver leroy and your called the swim book it helps you chart your workouts through an entire season there it is. Log your practices. This is Dr. Payne signing off. Train to rain with Dr. Payne. But first of all, have some fun out there and enjoy.